Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Mod Type run of EV Emerald. Last time, we beat May, reached Marvel City, got a bike, and beat Wally. The next main objective is to beat Watson. However, Watson is a fair bit tougher than prior gym leaders, so I'm going to battle the various trainers on the adjacent routes. Fortunately, there's a lot of them. And I suspect Game Freak intended for the player to take the time to grind against these trainers to prepare for the upcoming gym battle. First up, we have a youngster and aroma lady. <clears throat> yeah, against these two, always take out the aroma lady first, otherwise she will abuse all kinds of status problem causing moves. That's annoying. That's her out of the way. Not surprised there. And there goes the first couple of trainers. And the aroma lady. Well, I don't know how she can smell a Pokenab, but whatever. Yeah, you talk to her and get her number. And in this, well, there's a rock here where you get a heart scale. We'll use that for the move tutor later. Next, we'll take on this guitarist. I don't know if I really needed that crit, but then again, Mud Slap is weak enough that maybe I did. Who knows? Then again, with a double weakness to ground, maybe not. And there's all the trainers on this route. So, next up, we'll go back down to Route 110 and take on the trainers on Cycling Road. Actually, we're going to make a quick detour and swap out my bike for the Acrobike, just for now. And now we're on the bike. Go to this building here. Now, if you have the mock bike, you can actually do a race to see if you can get to the south in the fastest possible time, but I don't know if you get anything for it. So there's this trainer hidden over here that we'll start with. Don't know how she got past here, considering that the guard won't even let you through if you don't have a bike. Eh, whatever. Let's 
Let's go with Metal Claw. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, so that's either Hidden Power Fire, Ground, Fighting, maybe Water. This is mostly going to be for leveling up Auron, because... Get out of my way, bitch! And that's how you get Wally's number. But anyway, yeah, this is mostly benefits Auron, because there's a lot of Magnemite and Voltorb in these trainers' parties, and I have Bud Slap. I know the special attack EVs aren't going to be very useful, but, eh. Very few people bother with EV train in casual playthroughs anyway, so, eh, doesn't really matter. That's one. And she's one of a couple of trainers on Cycling Road that you can register. The other one is a bit to the south of here. Oh, and quick update. Uh, something I... Uh, something I just remembered. I was also doing my test playthrough of this, um, see if anything else is broken. There is another area of the game that I do have to edit the map just to avoid being softlocked. Again, we'll discuss that when we get there. And then there's yet another part of the map, uh, the game where I had to edit another map to uh, get to a certain area of the post game that I can't do because of the glitch. So, yeah. I know there's allegedly a, an updated version of this hack somewhere, but I haven't been able to find a download link, and even if I did download it, I'd basically have to start over. And at this point, I'd rather not. And this is the other guy you can register the number for. It won't be too long before I can evolve Auron, now that I think about it. It evolves into Laron at level 32. I won't get that to that level before fighting the next gym, but it won't take me that much longer after that to evolve it. And there goes Magnemite. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't think you... Yeah, you can't battle this guy, so, yeah. Let's just... Oh, what do we get here? A repel. Alright, we will teleport back. And I will see you in a second. And we're back! Now we're topped up on hit points and power points, we can move to the west. There's a lot of trainers on Route 117. First, we start off with these two girls. Those two. And they're done. So now we go down here. We get these berries. And the guy below us is another triathlete. He uses a Doduo, I think. There's two triathletes on this route. Actually, it might be three. I don't think that's going to save you, dude. Huh. Okay, so it bought you one free hit. Level up. Just five more levels of Lord of Balls. You get this guy's number. And now we get to battle our first Pokémon Breeder. These guys often use full teams of six, but they're usually all low level. Relative to the other Pokémon on a given round. Almost done. And there goes the battle. And you get this guy's number as well. Let's see, did I pick up anything? Nope. Although, let's be honest, at this point, pickup isn't going to be that many useful items. Okay, here's one of the other triathletes. This one, I'm pretty sure, also has a do duo. Or was it a Ponyta? One of those. No, do duo. Let's use Metal Claw. Oh, survived. Good on you. And down you go. 
And this is another trainer that gives you her phone number. That boy up there is not a trainer. And then you have a, your choice. You can have all single battles or a single battle and a double battle. We'll do this. Yeah, little claw. Damn it! I hate those moves. They just waste your time. Your time. Not to mention, for some reason, the AI can routinely get away with using it twice in a row. Except this time, apparently. Okay, we take those. Okay, you know, I'm actually going to go back to the Pokemon Center to get more power points and such, but before I do that, I am going to go over here and drop off one of my Zigzagoon, because it might get me some better items. Oh, never mind. The one I want to drop off already has an item. But it'll be a higher level, which means it'll get me some better stuff once I come and pick it up later. It'll raise your bitch for a while. Eh, might as well. Yeah, it means I'll eventually get some... Well, actually, I think they're both male, but whatever. We'll get you... And now, let's keep going. Back to the Pokémon Center... ...for some more PowerPoints. See you in a second. And we're back! So now let's take on the, the remaining traders on this route. First up is the Psychic. Oh, a Ralts. This should be easy. That was easy. Now let's go up here and get this item. Hmm? What's this? Luciana. Yeah, you can find Poochie on a lot on a lot more routes in Emerald version than you can in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Oh, oh, oh no. And you find it more often in Emerald than you can in Ruby and Sapphire, because Ruby and Sapphire, you only find them on the first couple of routes. Okay. Now we come across our first Bug Maniac. A trainer class that, in my opinion, is completely redundant. We already have bug catchers. What point does this one serve? I mean, I get that they tend to have stronger bug types and less of them, but it's still kind of redundant, if you think about it.
Down you go. And down you go. Crit. We take those. Do I have an... Yep. There's some items down here. A great ball. Nothing. A repel. And nothing. Next up, we have the second Pokemon Breeder. go. Oh, good. The effects board didn't activate. And there we go. And then over here we have Verdant Turf Town, which is where Wally is staying with his folks. Let's heal up real quick. And over there is the other side of Rust Surf Tunnel. We'll need to go in there later, but we're not going to go in there right now, although there is another trainer, because, well, that's one of those places that's affected by whatever the, the hack dev managed to screw up. This is Wally's family's place, right here. And uh, so, yeah, we're not going in there until after we get the third batch. In the meantime, let's go to the route to the north of Mauville City. And now we're on the southern portion of Route 111. There's a couple more trainers we could take on, starting with these two. Down you go. That's another pair of trainers down. Is there another item here? Nope, there's not. And here we have another pair of trainers, and these ones use... At least one of them uses fire types.
Let's make this quick. Hoping to be quicker than that. Oh, this is annoying. Yeah, serves you right, Shroomish. Down you go. And you're down. Now, there's one more group of trainers we can battle, but first I want to make sure that I am fully healed up because they're going to be tougher than the other ones. So, be right back. And here we have the last few trainers of this episode, the Winstrate family. As the name implies, you have to beat all of them in a sequence. With no breaks in between. They are tougher than the trainers on the other routes. Not by much, but they are tougher. Not that you would know that from the first guy alone. Okay, you know what? We are going to switch out for Black Sabbath. Nope, not this time. Yeah, 25% chance to miss. Level up. Just three levels away. And we are not going to learn Iron Tail, because although it's powerful, that is a 25% chance to miss. No thank you! That's the second one down. Now here's the daughter. Oh, come on! Yeah, we'll just... We don't have to take that line down. And that's three down. Just one more to go. And here comes Granny. And she has a Metatite that likes to spam high jump kick. Which Aron has a double weakness too. Yeah, I don't think so. I gotta switch out from Matang, because I think Matang will resist it. It'll still hurt. I mean, his high jump kick has a lot of power. But, okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh, or you can do that, because they also like to spam detect.
Yeah, it's not gonna do you any good, dude. And down you go! That's the win straights defeated! But before we finish up, there's one more thing I want to show you. And it's inside the house. So we talk it, we go in here, and we can talk to them. There's a couple of them... So... Yeah, by the way, their son, that is foreshadowing. You get to meet him later. And this is how you get the Macho Brace, which... In, which doubles the effort values you get from being opponents, but halves your speed while your Pokémon's holding it. He's not that good. Anyway, I think that'll wrap it up for, for this time. Next time, we are taking on Marvel City Gym. If you like what you see, comment, subscribe, maybe check out my Rumble page. I'll see you all next time.